Hello, this is Kelly, your empowerment coach. I hope you're well. Well, here I am. I'm back in France in my favourite park in Saint Germain en Laye. I'm here with uh, baby Ina. She's having a little sleep now. And also Otto, who's having a little fiddle around in the gardens chasing a cone. Anyhow, I'm here to talk to you today about not having it all. Everyone always tells you you can have it all and you can and that's great. But what happens if you don't have it all? How should you take that? Well, this has been a recent lesson for me because um, I'm sure if you who do have children know, it's a lot of work. And um, sometimes your house is messy, you can't do everything that you wanna do and you get frustrated. So when you can't do everything or you haven't got everything that you need or you want or you would love right now in your life, you can get end up getting frustrated, annoyed, angry with yourself, angry with other people, angry at the world. And this creates a lot of mental and emotional pain that's really unnecessary because the only thing that's causing that pain is your frustration because you haven't got it right now or you're not able to do everything right now. And this is what I've experienced because I've wanted to do more work, I've wanted to clean the house, but as I said, those parents know that's just not possible all the time. You're not able to do it. And so what I've been doing is just letting it go and just saying, sod it, I don't have it all together. My house isn't perfectly tidy. I can't do all the work I wanna do. And you know what? It's absolutely fine just the way it is like that. And I think this is a really beautiful lesson for all of us in life because we're just constantly striving for things sometimes and we never enjoy the moment. We end up just pushing through and pushing through and getting things actually out of frustration and annoyance rather than just enjoying things for how they are. And this happened with a client recently. I was on the phone to a client. She works for a really big corporate in the UK and um, she's got a big project to deliver. She'd been on holiday for a few weeks and she called me and she was stressed and going, oh my God, I'm gonna go back. And you know, I just want it all to be fine, all to be fine. And, and I just said to her for a moment, isn't that a bit unrealistic? Like when you have a big project to go for, things do pop up. It is hard sometimes. You have to get stakeholders on board. You have to knuckle down and do loads of work. And you know what? The thought of it has to be fine, it has to be fine, causes more frustration and mental pain than if you were just, than the actual task itself. So if you were to just accept, okay, it's gonna be a bit hard right now, um, and breathe and go through it, it's a lot easier than going, it has to be fine, it has to be fine, it has to be fine, and it's not. And this is much like me with my, um, my new baby, you know, it doesn't all have to be fine. And that reduces the amount of pain and, and mental frustration. So I'm able to just enjoy and be in the moment more. Um, because we're always worrying about things, aren't we? And I love that quote, I think it's by Emerson. And it says, I've had so many worries in my life most of which never happened. And isn't that true? Think about all the worries that you've had and how many of them actually came true. Probably not many of them. So this just shows you it's our perception and our thoughts that are creating a lot of our disturbance rather than the actual events themselves. So if you're feeling stressed, overwhelmed right now with everything that you've got going on, then instead of trying to change what you've got to do, the tasks, or the actions, change your mind, change your thoughts about it, because it will bring you instant, instant relief. And you will able to just let go and surrender more. And just think, well, I don't know everything now, or I can't do everything now. And you know what, be okay with that, because that's a step closer to loving and accepting yourself and everything around you, just the way it is, just how it is right now. And when you're in that place of deep love and acceptance for how things are, Life is more fun, and you don't have to wait for something to be complete before you enjoy it. It just is right now, and you